Some homes in the U.S. are set to receive electricity for the first time ever. It's part of a $366 million plan by the Energy Department. Their goal, bringing clean energy projects to rural and tribal communities. We opened uh, at DOE a new funding opportunity through President Biden's infrastructure law for energy improvements in rural or remote er areas. This includes building things like solar panels, hydropower facilities, microgrids, EV chargers, and more in areas with a population of 10,000 or fewer. The initiative will consist of 17 different clean energy projects spanning 20 states and 30 tribal communities. Energy costs in these rural and remote areas run about 33% higher than the national average, according to federal government estimates. Meanwhile, about 17,000 homes on tribal lands do not have access to electricity and are paying the majority of their annual incomes to secure power. About a fifth of homes in the Navajo Nation do not have access to electricity, and nearly a third of homes that have electricity on Native American reservations in the U.S. report monthly outages. This is the largest amount that the Department of Energy has awarded to tribes for energy projects. It is historic. Historic! The Energy Department says its plan is designed to create more affordable and dependable sources of clean energy in places that often rely on gas-powered solutions. One of these projects aims to supply power for more than 300 homes on tribal lands that have never had prior access. Another could help some New Mexico residents save up to $700 per year on their energy bills. And in Alaska, a new hydroelectric system will replace a 70-year-old wooden dam to alleviate the local community's 100% reliance on diesel fuel. These and other initiatives are a result of the Biden administration's Justice 40 program. Its purpose is to provide 40% of the federal government's clean energy investments to individuals living in underrepresented and disadvantaged communities. But this hasn't been without some pushback. Native American tribes in both Nevada and Arizona have been fighting to protect their lands and sacred sites from the Biden administration's renewable energy expansion. Their leaders say they've been excluded from the federal government's decision-making process on where several clean energy sites will be located. It's going to directly affect me. It's gonna directly affect my people, my culture, my religion, my traditions. Um, it's literally desecrating um, a massacre site of my people. And I'm worried that these environmental issues and these cultural issues are directly gonna affect my children, the children after that, and children after that. And to me, that's cultural genocide. Additionally, Federal regulators recently granted Native American tribes more authority to block hydropower projects on their land. All of this raising questions about whether legal battles with tribal nations will follow this latest Energy Department announcement.